You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you. But these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, Father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain... Uh, undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead, don't you, Father? Indeed I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye, and fix them too. I need a wheelman. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, Father. I'm in. We are going to need a car. The faster the better. Come on then! I'll get us some wheels! Nice little village you got here. Clumsy earth. Word is, they've fallen off free the prisoners. Single handed. Watercolors and oils. Worried they won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wino priest, peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my bag. Either way, I will see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. Your business. I am here to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. <laughs> I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on in. Wait for
for me here. This won't take long. Good luck, father. Drive, Sean! Drive like the devil! Hang on, father. Oh, crap! I sprung a leg! I sense that a great pain weighs on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, Father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. 